In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to make a Cuban chain. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. All right, step number one, select your default cube, press X, delete, numpad seven to be in top orthographic view, and then press shift A. We're going to make use of a curve, not any curve, but the circle, the Bezier circle. We're going to press G to grab this X on the X axis, and then we're going to type in 10, click, shift A, circle again, Bezier circle. And with this busier circle selected, press tab, go into edit mode, select these edges here, and we want to rotate this by pressing R, X to lock it on the X axis, and 6, 0, 60 degrees. We'll do the same here, we'll rotate this, this time Y axis, on the Y axis, 60. We'll select this over here, and we'll rotate this on the X axis, minus 60 degrees. We'll select this, and we'll rotate this on the Y axis, minus 60 degrees. Once you've done that, press tab, go into object mode, and we've got a good shape, numpad 7. Now you can go to your object data properties of this circle, uh, this curve, go to your geometry, go to your object, and select the other Bezier circle. With the other Bezier circle selected, select the other Bezier circle and press S and scale this backward, or just type in 0 0.3 should give you a relatively good result. All right, I'm quite happy with that. The next thing you want to do is select your chain link over here. Let's re uh, let, we can rename it in a second. Click on object, convert to mesh. Let's rename this to Cuban chain link because it's, it's a singular chain link. Then press numpad one to be in front orthographic view. Press shift A, click on mesh. And now we're going to add a cube. Press S to scale this cube, type in 1.5. Click, zoom, uh, go to your object data properties um, for this cube, which would be over here, object data properties, and in the viewport display, change the, the display as from textured to bounce. And then press G, Z, lift it up to about, I'm gonna hold in control, to about there. And then we can just uh, make sure we zoomed in enough to see this line here and press shift D, right click and press G to grab, Z, lock it to the Z axis, bring this down, hold in control, and there you go. I'll select both these objects here and press control J. Now we've got one singular object and now we can go to our modifier properties with the Cuban chain link selected, add modifier, we're gonna use the Boolean modifier and we're going to keep it on difference, leave it on object and select cube. And before we apply, let's take a quick look to see how it looks. I would say it's not perfect, but that is fast look. Exact. It's not perfect, but uh, it's good enough for a chain, I guess, in this example. All right, and we can just select apply, select our cube over here, and press X to delete. We can also select this uh, Bezier circle, X and delete, we don't need it, numpad seven. Select this, perhaps we want to, well, it's in the perfect position right now, so we just wanna press Shift D to duplicate this, X on the X axis, and we can just visually look at this till we get it right. Once we've got it right and we're happy, you can just click and then you can press Shift R to duplicate this a whole bunch of times. Let's see how far did I go? Let's uh, do it. Shift R, Shift R, Shift R, Shift R. There we go. I'm quite happy with that. That's four sections. And all I need to do now is click over here, Shift, click over here, Control J. Now we've got one object. Select this object. Press Control A, apply all. Right click, set origin to geometry. Then press um, Shift S, cursor to world origin. Shift S, selection to cursor to, to world origin. Cursor to selected, sorry. Right, so now that that's in this position, we can press Shift A and let's use, once again, a Bezier circle. Let's scale this up by 10, S10, and let's uh, give a modifier to this called a curve modifier and use the busiest circle and let's make it 
in the opposite direction by making it minus x and let's just select this busier circle and press s scale it in let me zoom in here just watch this in action There we go, that's looking pretty good. I'm quite happy with that. Well, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. We created an interesting chain. Let's put it on the x-axis. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.